tap shoulder, shoulder up, hip, hip, hip. hip. Okay, same thing the other side then. You go. Good job. And then go to the next oh, one. I'm on my uh, left arm, but you guys, I'm trying to mirror you. So right arm. Ready? Arm goes up. Stretch high. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep it well. And then other opposite shoulder. Shoulder up. Shoulder, shoulder up. Right? Yeah, Wyatt's doing it. Hip. Hip. Wyatt's doing it. Yay! So let's, he wants to mirror you guys because that's how Wyatt learns by uh, watching. Ready? So arm goes up and then shoulder, shoulder up. And then it goes hip, 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 right? Shoulder, shoulder up. Hip, hip, hip. hip. Two hips. Hip, hip. How many hips? I don't even remember. I have You're awesome. Two. Oh, it's two? I thought it was three. Yeah. Do, 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 Okay. Okay, so, and then the third part is we bring our both arms across the chest, right, Tina? Do, and then we cross our arms, tap our shoulders, arms go up, hip, 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 right? Do, 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 hip, 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 do, 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 hip, 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 right? So you're crossing. That one needs a lot. Tapping the shoulders, both arms go up, both arms, hip, hip, hip. Michelle, I don't see you following along. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's hard to see. Is it hard to see? Right. Now, now we can't see you because you just turn it off. Well, okay, but can you hear me? Because I can play the yeah. music. I, I can play I the can, music, I but I won't be able to see you. I was able to download it. Do you want me to try? That's fine. Otherwise, I can play it, but I can't show it. I don't know how to screen. Yeah, here, let me... There. So remember one arm goes up, cross the shoulder, do, do, hip, 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 do, do, hip, 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 both arms, hip, hip, hip. Hey, come on, Tina. the screen share well i think it, it's easier on a computer maybe i don't know but yeah, it was computers it, I are really the best way let's do it again you guys in other um scenarios but probably not to screen share so i believe it goes oh we start with the arm do we start with the arm up right yeah okay let me so look at our eyes up again. Cross the that's such a fun one i feel like i should ask my daughter if she could add on to that because i that'll like be that'll uh, be awesome um, yeah that one's beat, pretty right simple. i like that one and the beats cool Mm -hmm. Tina, do you know if there's a added on version? No, I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? All right. Well, um, or for the future. I well, another one. How are you guys feeling after um, Josh's workout this morning? Good. Was it challenging or not challenging? Oh, we did it before. It's not that bad. It was challenging at the. It was challenging at the. Um, at that one, that last one, though. The last one. Oh, a couple, couple days ago. Well, a new stretch this afternoon. The, the morning, the last one. 
Oh, the plank thing. Yeah, I thought that was challenging. That was a little challenging, yeah. Yeah, especially towards the end, right? So your yeah. triceps yeah. are getting tired um, and good, worn though, out. The okay. good thing I have to tell you is that these exercises and these strengthening things that you guys are challenging yourself is that you can get – you you're going to get stronger – um, and I know some of you are like, what is inversions? What is that? But in order to do inversions, you have to really have some upper body strength for most inversions. Um, so I'm really proud of you for trying and doing your best. So if your triceps are sore, we could just do a little bit of tricep stretching. Okay. Again. You guys up for just a little bit, just, this is easy stretching. We're not, I'm not doing anything challenging. Can you guys see me at all? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. let's, I'm gonna mirror you. And Debbie's, of course, she's wandering with Seren, so she's gonna be doing her own thing. So let's everyone raise your left arm up. So your bicep's gonna come by your ear, your right hand's down. And then bend both elbows. So you're trying to keep that left arm up and you're trying to reach your fingertips. I'm gonna turn around. Mm. So this is what you're looking, this is what you would look like, okay? Now if you can't reach your fingertips, that's why we used the strap before. So just try to walk your bottom fingertips to meet the top. But really keep the upper elbow towards your ear. So that left elbow, it's my right elbow when I'm hearing this, so you guys can see a little better, is really keeping that by your ear. So don't try to go out to the side because then you're not gonna benefit, okay? And if you, who can reach your fingertips? Alex, can you? Nope. No, okay, don't, I'm using a... don't feel bad. It's really hmm. difficult. What about Jordan or Tina or Michelle? Can you reach your fingertips? I don't know. I'm doing this though right now. Oh, you're using the strap. Okay, because that does help. I my strap too. <laughs> and it's really difficult. So if you have a strap, then you can grab it. I'm just trying to help you work, uh, stretch your shoulders a little bit more in your triceps. So if you do have a strap, um, you can use that with the upper arm. But otherwise, just keep walking your fingertips up, breathe. Okay, keep that bicep by the ear and then release. Bring your arms out to the side. So now you're gonna take your right arm up. And you, this side might be easier. So just note what side this is. Now bend your right elbow. Your left elbow is gonna bend and you're gonna try to walk to reach each, your fingertips. Now this side is harder for me, but that's because I'm mirroring you and I'm right-handed. So maybe this side is easier. Alex, can you touch your fingers? I'm still using the, the strap, Jen. Oh, that's good. So walk your fingertips up the strap to try to get closer so that your fingertips would reach one another. Can you guys see me at all? Yeah. Oh, cool, okay. Okay, so breathe into your shoulders and your triceps. So some of these exercises are really different and challenging, and I'm so excited you guys are trying them. All right, keep breathing. This is a stretch that we tend to hold a little bit longer. All right, and then release. Woo. Arms out to the side. Good, swing your right arm under your left. Give yourself a great big hug. And then go side to side. And then see if you can maybe reach your fingertips like we do, this is our eagle arms. So you're trying to draw your forearms away from you. I'm demonstrating, I'll demonstrate on the side. And if you can't do that, you're just gonna go like this. No big deal. Okay, but you want to draw your forearms up, draw your elbows up. Really trying to help you guys stretch out your upper body because you worked that out a lot today. 
One more inhale and then exhale, release. And now swing your right arm under your left. Give yourself a great big hug. Those are so awesome. Seriously, you're showing up like all the time. And then see if you can touch fingertips on this side. And if you can, you're gonna draw your elbows up. And then try to pull them away from, <clears throat> away from your body. So you feel more of a stretch in your scapula. Glad that Debbie's taking care of our plants here. <laughs> and release. Now who has, um, so hopefully maybe you feel a little bit kind of stretched out. Why don't you just take your shoulders, roll them up towards your ears, roll them down your back. Let's just do a couple elbow rolls. So bring your arms out to the side and then bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Elbows are gonna draw together. Inhale, elbows are gonna reach up. And then big circles, roll down your back. Should feel pretty good. Again, the elbows are gonna to draw together. Like I said, we're just doing some simple exercises to get um, your body uh, moving. Down your back. Good, and again, two more times. Big circles. Keep going. Last time. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. All right, should feel a little bit better. Let's do um, cactus, cactus arms, okay? So here we got cactus arms, elbows draw back. Good, bring your elbows and forearms together, close the palm of your hands, and then see if you can lift up slightly. Yep, just a little bit, good. And now open up again, let your heart shine, good. And we're gonna do a couple more of these, elbows, forearms together, lift up. Trying to um, help open up some of the tight muscles in your upper back. So two more times. Lift up, even if it's like an inch. And last time, so glad you guys are here. Good. And lower down. Nice, kind of just shake it out, shake it out. Um, I know I'm teaching tomorrow morning. Does anybody have a request? Do you like to do more upper body or lower body or any specific muscle? You can think about it. You can always email me. We can work on certain things. Otherwise, draw your chin back, put a little bit of slight bend in your knees, and then draw your left ear to your left shoulder. It's gonna stretch out our neck muscles. So now reach your right arm down to the ground, and reach it a little bit back behind you. You can stay right here, or you can take your left arm, reach it above your right ear, and draw your ear to your shoulder. So you can spin your chin slightly up towards the ceiling so you feel a nice stretch. These are called your scalene muscles and your SCM. And release. Good, and now we're gonna do the other side. So now we'll draw your right ear to your right shoulder. So you wanna make sure that you draw your shoulders out of your ears. I can't really see you guys. Take your left arm, reach it down and back. Good, maybe spin your chin slightly up towards the ceiling. See where you can get more of a stretch. You can take your right arm above your left ear and gently guide your ear to your shoulder. And just see, like go a little bit forward, go a little bit back. See where you have more of a stretch. Like this is about kind of feeling good that's what we want the stretches in the afternoon is really just kind of um, to get some movement and feeling good. All right, come on up. Nice, inhale, sweep your arms up, reach up, look up, and then interlace your hands. Good, flip your palms, really stretch. Keep your 
arms straight as you can. Reach up, finger, your pinky side of your finger draws back, and then try to draw your shoulders out of your ears. Good, draw your belly and you're gonna twist to the left. And come back to center and twist to the right. Come back to center, release your arms down by your sides. Good. And just bring your hands right above your knees. Good. So we're going to do standing type of cat cow. So you're going to begin to arch your back. Try to straighten your arms and look up. So you're spreading your collarbones and now you're going to exhale. You can straighten your legs as you tuck your tailbone under and your chin is going to come to your chest. So you can go on the ground and you can do this or you can do it standing. So come back to our cow pose and then reverse, chin to your chest, round your back. So kind of hold on to your knees to help assist you in the stretch and two more times. You're doing awesome. You feel good to have some type of movement in your body. Okay, and then come up standing. Nice. Does anybody have a, do you guys have a wall or a chair? I just thought it'd be nice to try to stretch out our cap. So I'm going to demonstrate with a chair. See, this could be a chair or it could be a wall. Just gonna put your hands on the back of a chair, okay? And like I said, you can have the wall here. And then take a big step back with your right leg. So I'm gonna try to move this so I think you guys can see me. So you're in a like lunge. So just use this time to just try to press your right heel down to the ground. So you can use the wall to help you or the chair. I think a wall is actually better because the chair slides forward. But just so you're trying to really stretch that calf muscle. So the calf muscle is at the right below your knee. It's between your knee and your foot. Okay, bring the leg forward and switch legs. So now bring the other leg back. Should feel kind of good. Are you guys liking the workouts in the morning? Yes. Yep. I sweat yeah. with Josh. <laughs> yeah. With Josh, you don't sweat with me. I can make it. I can make it harder, Michelle. <laughs> well, come on, Jeff. Do you need a harder workout, Michelle? No. Okay. I think she does. I'm stroking. Okay, bring the legs together. Good. And then reach up with your arms. Oh, and now reach all the way down to the ground and bend your knees if you need to. And then just let your head hang. So you're trying to feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Get a little bit more blood to your head. You can straighten one leg a little bit, bend another. I can't keep my legs straight because I feel it more in my back. It doesn't, I don't benefit as much. So I feel like it's better to keep my legs a little bit bent. Turn your head to the right, turn it to the left. Nice, come back up. Woo, hey guys. Feeling like you're kind of stretching out. Let's do, um, take our left arm up high, bring your feet a little wider. I'm, I'm slipping because I'm not on a, a mat. But you're gonna bring your left arm, we're gonna do like the windmill stretch, but we're gonna hold it. So bring it across your body, cross your right leg, and then just draw your torso, that's your chest, towards your leg. So maybe you bend your elbows out to the side. So you want to feel the stretch in the back of your right leg. <laughs> Breathe. 
screen. You guys are doing great. And then inhale, come back up. Whew. If you feel lightheaded sometimes because your head gets below your heart, just remember to breathe, okay? You can always come out of the pose too, so no worries. Right arm comes up, and then stretch the right arm across your left leg. So now your torso is going over that left leg. 